This one in the morning. Winston! This one in the morning. Winston! Who's good potato spin the leak here? And I just finished watching Ready Player One. We saw it in theaters. I was supposed to watch it tomorrow, but I ended up watching it today. But shit, shit was weird. Anyway, I uh, I went with Blake and his girlfriend, who will remain unnamed, simply for the fact that she has not appeared on the channel. And this video might just be me sucking Spielberg's dick. Um, let's step away from that thought for a second. I'm not even going to talk about the plot for this one. If you want the plot, go watch the trailer. This is just going to be, like, basically why I took away from the film, because I, I have very limited storage space. So, this movie is jam-packed with, uh, really, references that will span across multiple generations. Everything having to do with uh, the origins of gaming, you know, the Atari and, like, multiple, like, freaking arcade platforms. Uh, to modern day gaming, as well as cinema, early 2000s films up to now, nothing too, too old in that category. But this is well executed. It's funny. It's it's very um, it's very welcoming. It's a very warm atmosphere. It's action packed. There are some spooky bits. It there's this movie has a lot to offer. This uh, I there wasn't a moment that I was bored. There Blake and I were giggling like fucking schoolgirls whenever we saw some of the things that happened. Um, now I will say that there are a lot more gamer references uh, than cinematic references. Uh, it, it, something as simple as items used or things that they wear or uh, like if, if you were to take a picture or like pause the movie at specific points, literally you'd see nothing but game characters and then one character from an anime TV show. But that's, that's only really because of the, um, you know, fuck it, let, let's not even talk about that. You're being recorded from behind, you don't know it yet. You didn't even look! But yeah, no, I loved the execution. I love pretty much every part of this movie. Um, th this one's getting a five potato rating from me. That is so rarely given. In fact, it's not only getting the five potato rating, this is getting my third place slot in favorite movies of all time. That's bumping uh, Maximum Overdrive down to slot four. Short Bus is still in slot two. And I have already decided that whenever the Blu-ray comes out, I'm buying that shit. I don't, really, I don't regularly buy movies religiously or anything like that. In fact, most of the DVDs I own, most of the DVDs and Blu-rays are cheapos from before I moved out of my parents' house. These three slots right here, they're jam-packed. Some of them are from, well, majority of them are from Devin. I got 100 plus DVDs from Devin whenever he upgraded. I also have that little stack right there on the table. I got a box underneath. I got stacks over here next to my fucking piano. I got movies out the ass, and I have bought very few of them. This one I'm actually going to drop money on because I fucking loved every last minute of it. Uh, five Potatoes, I do recommend watching it with every fucking fiber of my being. I really hope that you enjoyed this review, even though I'm not really talking about anything. I'm just saying that I enjoyed the fucking movie. Uh, I, what, what can I say? I don't want to go too in-depth with this because my storage is fucking limited. If I were to talk about the deeper aspects of the movie, this would be a 15-minute video, and I don't have the source space for a 15-minute video, so I really have to hurry up and wrap it up. Have you seen this movie? Are you planning on watching it? I recommend doing both. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And, I mean, it, literally, th this was just me sucking Spielberg's stick because I couldn't go in depth with it. Um, so, fuck you, I have feelings, and keep on keeping on.